Hello everybody and a big welcome to the astrology for uh, March 2019 and I have to say 2019 because honestly the <laughs> where is this year going and I've only just started to be able to write 2019 instead of 2018 but there we are. Anyway so what sort of month do we have ahead of us? Um, Quite an interesting one, actually. Um, I, I do try to give you a sort of like an overview, just a, a brief synopsis, a one-liner at the beginning. And I think if I'm going to do that, I'm going to say a month in which you feel out of control and yet events are happening outside of your control. So, so events are just exploding and appearing and happening all around you and you don't feel as if you can do anything other than just hold on and go with the white water rapids. So that's my sort of overview of the month. Now, if that feels a little bit alarming, well, okay, but for surely forewarned is forearmed and better to know that this is the sort of atmosphere we've got for March rather than just innocently sit there and get buffeted all over the place in your kayak as you go down the river. Better to know that these rapids are ahead. And then also I think what we can do is actually make use of some of this energy. It is quite volatile, powerful and strong, and I will explain it to you in some detail. But I think it's possible for you to um, sort of capture some of it and bend it with your mind, sort of work with it rather than against it. And in that way, you would have an extraordinarily powerful month, one in which you would be incredibly in charge um, and able to to bring about all kinds of magical transformation that you want things that you want to happen so so there we go so I'll just describe what's going on to you so we have a, a, a dwarf planet called Eris um, who was a, a, a Greek mythological character she was uh, highly volatile um, I, I mean so sort of strong and powerful in Greece that even Zeus feared her. Um, she was known for all kinds of strife and uh, she was called slander-tongued um, and she would be envious or jealous. Um, she would provoke even those who were very slow to move into stimulation and she would also represent rivalry. Okay, now I'm really selling this what this uh, this goddess, aren't I? I mean, she caused such huge mayhem. She even caused uh, the the huge war of Troy, the Trojan War, to happen. So we're talking an energy which really, really can rock the boat and really, really get people going and shouting at each other in road rage and that kind of stuff. Well, she is being squared by the planet Pluto. And Pluto, all by himself, another dwarf planet, um, is extraordinarily strong. Pluto is known for his uh, ability to um, get into power struggles, um, to make things very intense, to bring um, subterfuge, um, to bring a great power for transformation, a great need to transform uh, to the table. Um, so things like um, DNA and epigenetic um, influences all come under Pluto. So Pluto rewrites codes, if you see what I mean, to, to, to make the future. Um, and Pluto also comes along, can be with sexual urges. So that kind of can be very intense sexual um, situations in March also, where people might get completely blown over by huge and intense passion, for instance. Look out for that one. <laughs> but anyway, um, so if we get this um, need of Pluto to transform, to move things on into what they must become, um, to take them from one level into the next level, um, this hugely transformative um, compulsion. Well, if we look at that um, and we take that with Eris's huge ability to cause mayhem and strife, a, a huge ability to, to take everything and turn it upside down, to cause wars, to create enormous amounts of trouble. And then we add something else. So a trine from the planet Jupiter, um, so a trine from planet Jupiter to Eris. And then what we get is Jupiter's brand of 
expansiveness. I mean, Jupiter just expands everything it touches. It just provides fire energy and goes up like a hot air balloon. Um, and so you can see what I'm saying, I think, now. We've got an immense amount of powerful fire energy which can be applied to anything. So you can be driving down the road in your car and some idiot can have a massive road rage thing with you. Um, and you'll think, what on earth? Where did that come from? Th this can explode in people's lives anywhere. Now, the best way to use this is to be aware of it and then, if possible, mentally harness it and try to get ahead of others in the race. So it's not about being envious of others and looking at your neighbour and thinking, oh, she or he's just done that to me, that's unfair. And then getting so wrapped up in vindication and trying to get your own back and getting even. If you, you, you get all kind of mixed up with that kind of stuff, then what you're not doing is you're not doing what you could do best for yourself. And that is just get yourself ahead of the game. Ignore those others. Just go past them. It, this is not a time for trying to, you know, get exact revenge on people. This is a time for thinking, right, OK, well, that was stupid, very unfair. Um, and, you know, you, you, you need <laughs> whatever. But don't stop and sort of engage. Get ahead uh, and start working out. Right. If, if this is happening, Eris must be around me. In that case, what I need to do right now is get ahead. Look at my own stuff and plow all of your anger into your own projects. Um, get it going so that it's working for you and not just sitting there making your head all crazy. So we've got that happening this month. Now, at the same time, you're going to feel pretty powerless. Now, this is a strange mix, really, because we've got a lot of feminine energy, planets in, in, uh, in Pisces, planets contacting Neptune, which is going to sort of like wash things away, wash away strength, take away our, our, our feeling of personal potency. But be aware that although you feel like that, Remember what I said earlier about Eris and getting ahead of the game. So you've really got to be aware of what you're doing this month. So you will feel personally not powerful, pers personally weak perhaps. But what you need to do is gather up whatever strength you have anyway and work with what you've got to try and get yourself ahead. Because we've got like a two-tier sky We've got this very powerful Eris Pluto energy working and then we've got this sort of weakening energy underneath. And what you need to do is whilst you're aware of the weakening energy and, and how it makes you feel, you need to be aware that you don't you, you, you don't need to be excluded from the high level, high octane, high power stuff. You can very much join in. And that's what you should be doing. You should be getting in there and working with those, not just lying there in, in weakness and thinking, whoa, this is all happening to me. Everybody's beating me up. Everybody's being a bully. Everybody's controlling me. Try not to get into that kind of mindset. Try to get in the mindset of, wow, I can work with Pluto and Eris and I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. That would be much better for you. Um, OK, so... We've got on the 6th of March, we've got um, a Sun, Moon, Vesta, Neptune conjunction. Um, and that means we have a new moon and the new moon is taking into account Vesta and Neptune. So this is kind of a mysterious time when you can be spiritually aware of your own environment so your your inner escape of of spiritual awareness meditate during this time spend some time alone um i think you'll be amazed at what you could get in touch with in the, in the spiritual realms quite important for you to do that so that you can feel another part or another side to yourself and uh, i think it's a time of smoking joysticks and and going namaste to everybody and om and that kind of stuff. So very spiritual time. OK, um, so anything else have I got to tell you? Oh, yeah. So we, we have got this odd sort of sexual energy every now and again. We've got Venus and Mars getting together as well and they invite um, uh, sexual tension. So that is existing as well. Right. Apart from that, 
this is a powerful month right so i don't want you to lose any of the power i want you to stay in there um don't forget you can have a personal reading with me by the way so we can cozy up get together on skype have a chat and we can sort out your own personal way of making the absolute best of this month and the year ahead and that would be really useful for you wouldn't it great Okay, um, it's been fantastic to talk to you. I absolutely hope and that was good for you and I hope you have a fabulous month and I'm looking forward to talking to you again next month. So that's me, Alison Chester Lambert, the astrologer. Bye bye.